Um, I think my pillow's broken because it's not doing that. Like, yeah, no, there's still nobody here. So, uh, can you please tell me where you got that fucking pillow? Because I Have you ever had 22 inches of meat in your mouth? <laughs> well, since you asked, what, what the fuck? I didn't even say anything. Everyone keeps asking me what it's like to live with Zaya. And I really can't describe it or put it into words, so I'm just gonna show you. Zaya, can I come in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get the fuck downstairs, bitch, because you wanted to fight so bad before, but now the camera's out and you don't do shit, bitch. Yeah, who's that ass, bitch? <laughs> I literally have no friends. Hello? Hello, come in. Hey, sorry, what the fuck were you saying, bitch? Uh, bestie, what are you doing here? Oh, so now I'm bestie again? I thought you had no friends, bitch! W what are you talking about? I heard what you said. What do you mean you heard what I said? I heard you say, ugh, I literally have no fucking friends. How the fuck did you hear that? You literally live 10 miles away. Mm-hmm, yeah, I do fucking live 10 miles away. Wait, how the fuck did you get here so fast? Stop avoiding the fucking questions, bitch! Who the fuck is your bestie? You are, I'm sorry. That's what I fucking thought. Bitch, I need you to hear me out and please don't laugh at me. I genuinely think I can be a famous ASM artist on YouTube. You're not even hearing me out right now. Like, listen to my nails clack. Tell me that does not give you fucking tingles. And look, ready? Tell me that would not get millions of views on YouTube. Listen to me type on my keyboard. I'm literally typing some random shit right now and I can get paid for doing this. Also, if I get one of those special mics, I can go from ear to ear. Right? Right? And the best fucking part, bitch, look at this. This is a fake faux succulent I have in my room. Listen to me tap on it. I can literally tap on anything and make ASMR out of it. Like, I'm paying my fucking bills. Like, I'm literally paying my fucking bills. Hello? Like, hello? You know, if you didn't dress so much like a slut, maybe guys would stop harassing you. Shh. He doesn't know I know this hack. Did you know if I punched you hard enough directly in your jugular that the lack of oxygen could render you unconscious and or kill you? <laughs> You're done. You're done. Why is everybody packing their book bags right now? The bell does not dismiss you. I do. Shh. My teacher doesn't know I know this hack. You really thought you ate that one. <gasps> yeah, you didn't. Bye. Hey, sweetie, um, I don't know if you can tell by the content I create, but maybe if I show you these analytics, you'll get the fucking hint. A lot of my content is catered towards girl bosses and the girls' gays and theys. And even if there were boys here, I'm pretty sure they'd be a little... You know, a little fruity. But even if there are straight guys that follow me, rest assured they are also girl bosses. And not! Interested. Peace and love. Yo, you're really cute. Can I get your number? Thank you so much for the compliment, but no, I'm sorry. Ew, fuck you, bitch. I was only asking you out to be nice. Shh. He doesn't know I know this hack. Did you know if I took a fork off the table and shoved it into your carotid artery, you'd only have 5 to 15 seconds left to live? Hey, guys. Guess what I was doing for the past two hours in my bathroom? I shaved my leg. I shaved my legs and now I'm so smooth like a baby's butt. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, oh, ooh, oh, 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 yeah. Guys, the carnelian necklace has done it yet again. Her 
everybody. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, you know what fucking time it is. It's time for the daily scream, bitch. And let me tell you what the fuck happened to me today. So this morning I went to Dunkin' Donuts. I usually go to Dunkin' Donuts every morning just to get an iced coffee. And whenever I go, there is literally nobody in there. Like I literally walk in, order, pay, get my coffee, and then I'm out. Like a minimum, like two minutes I'm in the building. However, today I walked in and when I tell you I saw an F-I-N-E fine man and he was waiting for his drinks while i was ordering i go over to the pickup section i'm waiting for my drink and he would not stop trying to talk to me he was like wow your top is really nice where did you get it from and i was like thank you my mom's closet and then he was like you look really comfortable where are you going and i was like home like what i'll probably never see that man again and i feel so stupid because i didn't ask him for his number Hi everyone, if you're new, welcome. If you're not new, you know what fucking time it is. It's time for the daily scream. Bitch, I've been wanting to tell you guys this for such a long time. So in all of my videos, everyone keeps on asking me, Spencer, why the fuck are there boxes behind you in all of your videos? And now I can finally tell you. I'm moving, I'm moving. As many of you know, I just spent a week in LA. You know, the same week I got robbed, someone stole my wallet. Pish posh. But what I didn't tell you was the reason why I went to LA was because I was going on apartment tours! And I found a very nice apartment in my budget! And the day I saw the apartment, I was like, I want it. Like, this is going to be mine. So I filled out an application, they did a screening on me, and I got approved! I got approved! So I signed the lease and I'm moving! I'm so excited! Hi everyone, if you're new, welcome. If you're not new, you know what fucking time it is. It's time for the daily scream, bitch. So I'm currently in LA with my bestie Zaya. I would actually scream right now, but it's against Airbnb rules. So I can't be too loud right now. However, let me show you my outfit. I literally got it today from Spirit Halloween and on the box it said witch in a coven, but this is what it looks like hood down. But I love it when I have my hood up. I don't know why, but I feel so cute. I feel like goth little red riding hood, if that makes any fucking sense. Anywho, Zaya helped me with my makeup Saudi, because she's Saudi. so fucking amazing. Saudi. And right now we're just like waiting for something, I guess. I don't really know. But we look cute and that's all that fucking matters. We look sexy, yes, babe. Yes, we do. Look at us. So yeah, if you see me tonight in LA and I'm shaking my ass, mind your fucking business. Give me a kiss, baby. So for the past like three days, I've been getting bombarded with comments. And all of them keep saying that I'm in Lorraine's recent YouTube video. I thought it'd be something cute like, oh, Larry mentioned me in his video. Nope. No, bitch. It's nothing like that at all. Let's, let's just look at this, shall we? <laughs> no. No. Larry, no. Because not only did you sneak up behind me at Chase's Halloween party and bite my arm, but you're going to include me in a try not to laugh challenge. And it's a video of me spinning, bitch. Next time I see you in LA, Larry, it's on site, bitch. As if my life couldn't get any worse. I'm currently at urgent care because I have a really bad sore throat. Also, when I woke up this morning, there were a whole bunch of white spots on the back of my throat. So I don't really know what the fuck is going on at this point. But I'll keep you guys updated and let you guys know what the doctor tells me. Hee <laughs> hee. So the good news, I don't have strep. But of course, there's always fucking bad news! I have to go back to urgent care in three days. Because the doctor thinks I have mono. And now they have to take my blood work, test me for mono, and if I have it, they have to give me a shit ton of antibiotics. Life, honestly, like, it couldn't get any better. Like, it's so amazing right now. I love being me. Like, I just, I love it. I love it. Guys, these Halloween decorations are getting too fucking scary. Bitch, please brace yourselves because what I'm about to show you is fucking terrifying. <laughs> that is some scary shit right there. Oh my god. Guys, get ready for the night that I fucking had. So as many of you know, I just got back from LA. Last night, I hop off my plane, I grab my bags, and I'm waiting outside. When I tell you there were no fucking ubers 
Like, I was genuinely standing around for, like, two hours waiting for an Uber to come pick me up. Finally, an Uber decides to come and fucking get me. Thank fucking God. I get home. I start bawling my eyes out because I miss all of my friends in LA. Then I go to sleep. Obviously, I'm fucking sick, bitch. I wake up in the middle of the night in a puddle of fucking sweat. And I kept having this reoccurring dream that some man was chasing after me. And every single time I would think that I lost this fucking man, he would show up behind me with a machete. Like, are you fucking kidding me? After a night of crying and not being able to find a fucking Uber, I had a dream of a man with a machete trying to kill me. I'm done. Hi, guys. So after I posted my video yesterday talking about how everyone keeps sending me DMs of my lookalikes, I got a lot more. So I'm gonna show you some of these. But before I get started, I would just like to say that some of you really don't care about my mental health. Someone said I look like Mrs. Dabney from Good Luck Charlie. Someone then sent me a photo of Hugh Normus from Wizards of Waverly Place. You guys are so mean. I cannot tell you how many people are DMing me telling me I look like fucking Carl Weezer from Jimmy Neutron. Someone sent me the cucumber from VeggieTales, bitch, where? Someone also said I look like Caillou's little sister. Then someone said I look like Eleven from Stranger Things. Someone literally said I look like this fish, and I hate you. To the person who sent me the boy from back of the barnyard and said I look like him, FUCK YOU, BITCH! What did I do to deserve this? I don't get it! By the way, guys, I forgot to mention earlier, earlier today when I was getting on my flight to come to Los Angeles, and I had to, like, go through the TSA check line, I ended up getting pulled aside by five male TSA workers, and they did a thorough pat-down on me, and also tested my hands for explosive residue, and then made me stand to the side of the TSA line with my hands and legs apart like this, for a whole two fucking minutes. And after they were finished like doing what they had to do, they asked me to pull down my face mask. And they then started profusely apologizing to me because they thought I was Jack Harlow. And the reason they gave me such a thorough pat down was because they couldn't notice if I was Jack Harlow or not with my face mask on. Get! Just tell me to take off the fucking face mask! Hi everyone! If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, you know what fucking time it is! It's time for the daily scream. I know I did a daily scream earlier, but I feel like what just fucking happened to me warrants another one. So I just got back home from a fucking run. But while I was like halfway through my run, I noticed that there was like a man walking towards me on the sidewalk. He was like a middle-aged, white, stocky man! And he wasn't looking in my direction, he was looking down at the sidewalk. And he was also walking directly in the middle of the fucking sidewalk! So I couldn't like go around him but i noticed that he didn't have like headphones in so as i'm approaching him i was like excuse me sir excuse me and as i'm about to pass him he looks up at me and dad tries to punch me in the face literally swings at my face so i run past him i stop and i'm like dude what the fuck and he was like watch where you're going bitch you're looking at the ground and i literally yelled excuse me you fucking moron I don't care if all of your friends are going. If all of your friends decided to jump off a bridge, would you jump too? Shh. My mom doesn't know I know this hack. Hell fucking yeah, I would. The fuck? Hi, everyone. Um, I'm here at LAX airport. I am officially a Cali girl. Hopped off the plane at LAX. Uh, however, I'm kind of disappointed because when I walked out of my terminal, I wasn't immediately greeted with paparazzi in the Hollywood fix but instead like a cloud of fucking bus smoke. So we'll work on that. Besides that, hey everyone, I'm alive. This is the last time I will ever be addressing something like this. But today the Flight House posted a video of me and Zaya and almost every single comment is, oh my gosh, I didn't realize Spencer was so small. I thought Spencer was like 6'5". He's so short. This is the video they're commenting on, by the way. Costco. Yeah, I shopped there with my mama. <laughs> so to put all of your fucking comments to rest hi everyone my name is spencer and i'm five nine i'm five nine i'm not short that's like average height bitch i can't i can't touch my ceiling i can't do it but i just look tall in all of my fucking tiktoks because i'm lanky okay i'm lanky we all good now good 
you know, sometimes I sit here and I wonder what my personality would be like right now if I never went through an ugly phase as a child. Like, if I was just attractive my entire life, guaranteed my personality right now would probably be the equivalent to uncooked chicken. Because, like, realistically, like, growing up ugly, especially having your ugly phase in middle school going into high school, ooh! Bitch, that, oh, that will do a number on you. That will do a number on your fucking mental health, bitch, because you are forced to rely on your personality in every circumstance. Like, you can't rely on your looks, bitch, because you don't have any looks to give. Like, you like you know what I mean? Like, I remember in middle school, me and my friends used to get in a circle, and we'd be like, oh my gosh, tell me one physical feature about me that's, like, super attractive and, like, unique. And no one could ever come up with, like, a physical feature for me. And they would all end up being like, oh, your personality is amazing oh you're so funny so I literally grew up just like working on my personality and people pleasing and that's also probably why I feel like I'm so ugly now because no one ever gave me validation hi everyone if you're new welcome if you're not new, you know what fucking time it is it's time for the daily scream bitch when I tell you this carnelian necklace has given me magical fucking powers I genuinely feel like what I'm about to say like no one's gonna believe me but this morning I was on my way to Dunkin Donuts and the roads by me today were really fucking busy for no fucking reason Anyways, I'm driving and I see this car on a side street trying to like pull out into this busy road that I was already on, but nobody was letting this person go. So I was like, let me be nice. I'll let you go. So I end up letting the car go. I don't know what the person looks like in the car, but on my way to Dunkin Donuts, I have to go through several traffic lights. Tell me why me and the car I had let go got stopped at the same red light. It's two lanes. So I'm in the car next to this person. I look over, it is the sexiest man ever! Now my windows were already rolled down, but he rolls down his passenger side window and literally thanks me for being the only car that let him go! And you know, like, I get a simple, like, thank you wave. But rolling down your- like, come on, come on, what? Hi everyone, so I've decided to create a list of reasons as to why I personally believe I would survive in a horror movie. Reason number one, I'm not checking the fucking basement. In fact, I am not checking fucking anywhere, bitch. If I hear a creepy ass fucking noise, I'm not going to be like, oh my gosh, where did that noise come from? Let me go check that out. Absolutely the fuck not. I will remain in place. Next up we have, if I get a sketchy call, I'm not re-answering the phone. First of all, I find it highly unlikely that I'll answer the phone if it's coming from an unknown caller. But even if I were to answer the phone and I heard some sketchy ass bitch on the other line, I'm hanging up and I will find a way to block this person's fucking number. You can't really tell me your plan to kill me or that I have seven days left to live if I have your fucking number blocked, bitch. Next up we have, I don't plan on ever purchasing a cursed item. Okay, even like hypothetically speaking, if I were to purchase a cursed item, I'm returning it. Like I'm literally returning it. And if I go back to the store where I bought the cursed item and the owner is like, sorry, we have a no return policy. Well then the owner can watch me put that shit right back on the shelf and walk my fine ass out of the fucking store, bitch. Like, sorry, bitch, you can keep it. I don't want it. Next up, we have I know how to follow rules. Bitch, if I see a sign that says do not enter, and this sign is literally in front of some abandoned asylum, bitch, I'm not entering. Like, I'm not entering. I know how to follow the fucking rules. Sorry. Next up, we have I always check my car to see if something is wrong. Bitch, I cannot tell you how many people I have seen die in horror movies simply because their car won't fucking start. If I'm going on a road trip to a place that I've never fucking been before, and I even think something is possibly wrong with my car, I'm bringing it to the automotive shop. Next up we have, if my house is haunted, I'm moving. Bitch, if you wake up in the middle of the night, go downstairs for a glass of water, and in your kitchen you see knives floating from your fucking ceiling, or you wake up and you are on the fucking ceiling, bitch, move. Like, it's that simple. Fucking move. And I hate how people are always like, but they just moved and it like costs money to move again. Bitch, you can catch me living out the back of my fucking Hyundai. I don't care. I am not living in a haunted fucking house. Lastly, we have, if one of my friends says, let's split up, I'm not doing that. The reason why the killer has been able to kill all of our friends is because they were alone. If I ever catch one of my friends saying something like, I feel like we'd have a better chance at surviving if we all just split up. Bitch, I'm Dwayne The Rock Johnson uppercutting them in the fucking jaw. What about being completely alone makes you feel safer? There's only room for one white twink at this ah, party. Feel finish. much fight! Feel much fighting now! Hi everyone! I thought I would give you all a little voice update. My voice is, uh, gone. Like, it's obliterated, it's shot. However, I'm not gonna lie. Sounds kinda hot. Like, I should lose my voice more often. Like, I don't mind this. 
But yeah, last night was fucking crazy. I think that was like the most fun I've had in a very long time. I went to a club, there was a lot of dancing. I accidentally like full on ran into Rebecca Black in the bathroom, like stumbled into her and she was like, what? And I was like, I am so sorry. Like I didn't know where I was going. So yeah, Rebecca Black, if you see this video, I'm so sorry for literally falling on you when I walked into the bathroom, but you looked really good. But um, yeah guys, if you celebrated Halloween, I hope you had a good time. And if you didn't celebrate Halloween, I hope you had an amazing Sunday. Mm. Bitch! Hi everyone, if you're new, welcome. If you're not new, you know fucking time it is. It's time for the daily scream. And bitch, I, how is my life fucking real? I would tell you all to like buckle your seatbelts, but at this point, I feel like you bitches need a harness. Now I'm gonna have to like kind of whisper this one because I can't have my mom hearing what I'm about to say, but I just got back from 7-Eleven and you bitches will never guess what the fuck just happened to me. So I walk into 7-Eleven, I'm looking for the shit that I want. And as I was in there, there was like another guy walking around. He was literally a hairy old man. And as I'm walking around, minding my fucking business he oh my god he walks up to me and goes hey i saw you on scruff and i just wanted to let you know i think you're pretty cute bitch what if you don't know what scruff is it's basically a gay hookup app so what i would really like to know is who the fuck is catfishing as me in my area why me so if it isn't already very fucking clear i'm an only child i didn't grow up with any fucking siblings at all but when I was younger, I was constantly being asked, don't you ever wish you had siblings? And without fail, like every single fucking time I'd be like, yeah, like I wish I had a brother or a sister. Bitch, ever since downloading this fucking app, I am so happy I don't have any fucking siblings. Like there is shit that siblings have to worry about that I just never have to. Like I'm constantly seeing videos on my For You page of siblings arguing because one of them stole the other's clothes. I have never had to worry about that. Like, when I walk to my closet, I know my shirt is going to be there. Like, I don't have to second guess whether or not my sibling stole it from me. Also, I've been seeing videos about siblings growing out of their snitching phase. Bitch, I never had to worry about anyone snitching on me, ever. I also never had to worry about driving my younger sibling places or taking my younger sibling with me to hang out with my friends. Like, I'm literally living lavish. I don't know why I ever wanted a sibling. Hell no! I don't know <laughs> how many times I have to go over this. My last name is not Wa. My last name is Hunt. Like the ketchup. Hunt's ketchup. My name is Spencer Hunt. The reason my username is Spence Wa is because I was trying to make it like a cute little username. You know when you go to kiss someone and it's like mwah. So I literally just took off the last letter of Spencer, which is an R, and then I took off the first letter of mwah, which is an M, and I just stuck the two together to get Spence Wa. But I cannot tell you how many times I've literally had to come on this fucking app and explain to all of you that my name is not Spencer Wa. Like I thought my username was so just clever. Like I genuinely I thought everyone would get the Spence Moi thing, you know? But that never happened, and now everyone just fucking thinks it's my last name, and it's not. So I posted a video about an hour ago. In the video, you can see me screaming into my fucking pillow. Let's look at some of the comments I have received thus far. Spence is already waiting for the guy in the position. Put some arch in the heartbreak. Spence, that position. Now, I feel like I should have known when uploading that video that there would be some sick and twisted bitches commenting on my arch game. Let's get something very, very fucking clear my arch does not look like that this right here is not how i arch my back just so all of you know so there isn't any confusion when i'm actually arched back it's stomach down ass up don't get it twisted this is me screaming into a fucking pillow you guys are all so sick you're so sick hey guys so i just flew back home and you're all probably wondering, Spencer, you didn't post any videos yesterday. What the fuck? Yeah, well, I lost my carnelian necklace. It literally disappeared. I was walking on the sidewalk and it just fell off. The same day I lost my carnelian, bitch, I got robbed. I literally, I got robbed. Someone literally pickpocketed me and stole my fucking wallet. I had to cancel all my fucking cards. 
Mind you, the person who fucking stole my wallet tried to buy something from 7-Eleven three times and also tried to get a fucking burger from Burger Shack. But I locked my cards, so they kept getting declined. The only thing that sucks, though, is my driver's license was in my wallet, as well as $50. So when I went through TSA today to go home, I didn't have a physical ID on me, so they interrogated me for literally an hour. Live in la vida loca. I just thought I would take this time to explain to all of you how I would embody each of the four horsemen of the apocalypse if a man were to ever hurt any of my friends. This is Conquest, the first horseman of the apocalypse. He is also referred to by many as the Antichrist. Like, I'm not even joking, if a man broke my best friend's fucking heart, I would turn into the Antichrist and destroy their fucking life. The next horseman we have is the Horseman of War. Oh, you wanted to break my best friend's heart? Now I want to break your entire body, bitch. I'm gonna make it fucking rain hellfire. This is the third horseman, Famine. To be honest, I don't plan on starving anyone. However, I do plan on instilling so much fucking fear that they can't keep their food down. So Famine still applies. And the last horseman we have is Death. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail with this one because I don't need the FBI knocking on my door. But you get the fucking point. Has anyone ever told you you have amazing bone structure? Like, is that a compliment you get off to? Oh, sure. Uh, you're a nice mm -hmm. Um, hey guys. So yesterday I posted this video. And I want you to know that by the way, you are worthy of life. And, um, I didn't know this, but this is actually a gang sign. My friend Selena was the one who actually let me know about this. So I would just like to inform all of you that I am not associated with any gangs. And I was trying to make a heart, and I didn't know that it was actually a gang sign, so I'll just be doing this from now on, because I don't want people thinking I'm in a gang. You are not good enough for my daughter, and I don't want you around her. And of story so why don't you give me one more if a man ever has the audacity to tell you sorry babe bros before hoes take that as an opportunity to fuck every single one of his friends i mean realistically you're just doing what he said bros before hoes so if he catches you in the act and he's like what the fuck you can easily be like you told me bros before hoes so i did all of your bros before i did you and if he's like oh that's not what i meant you can say sorry i guess i must have taken that in a different context then he'll never say bros before hoes again i promise you guys i have a confession to make and i really hope that none of you look at me differently after i say this sorry this is this is just really hard to say out loud. Um, I, I use the laughing emoji. And I use it unironically. I use the laughing emoji when I think something is funny. And whenever I use it, my friends are like, Spencer, what the fuck? And I know that there are a lot of opinions about using the laughing emoji. So I really hope that that doesn't make you guys see me differently. Because realistically, why is there a laughing emoji? To emphasize if something is funny, right? Right? So why is it so bad when I use the laughing emoji? Please don't look at me differently. Please. Guys, I can't do this anymore! So when I do my homework, I close all my curtains in my room. So it's like dark in here and I can concentrate. And I finished my homework before and I opened up my curtain. And do you want to know what I fucking see? That fucking it the clown mask! And I think I almost literally just shit my pants. Because every Halloween, my neighbor puts that in his window. And I have no problems with my neighbor. He's a lovely man. But every year, it's just so unexpected. I literally thought that there was a clown stalking me in my neighbor's house. I'm not joking. This is literally what I looked like when I opened the curtain. <laughs> like it couldn't just be a cute fairy mask guys i'm literally so embarrassed hi everyone if you're new welcome if you're not new you know what fucking time it is it's time for the daily scream so i just ended my tiktok live after literally humiliating myself so someone in my tiktok live asked me to read harry styles fan fiction i promise you i was reading the first link i found Turns 
out uh, I was not just reading any regular fan fiction. On my live with over 2,000 people, I was straight up reading smut! And it wasn't until like halfway through my live that I realized it was smut. And now people are DMing me screen recordings! Coming down harder, his fingers dug into my... <laughs> Do you guys see this carnelian necklace right here? Yeah, it works fucking wonders, bitch. I lost my voice. We're not gonna fucking talk about it. But let me tell you what happened to me last night. Last night, I go to a party. I get back to my Airbnb around 2 a.m. I was so exhausted. I changed, brushed my teeth. I was ready to go to sleep. But this guy I matched with on Tinder like a month ago ended up texting me. And he was like, I don't want you to feel pressured, but I know you're going home in like two days. Do you want to hang out before you go? And I was like, yeah, sure. When do you want to hang? And he was like, I'm free right now. So do you want to know what I did? I threw on a pair of sweats and a hoodie and then ordered an Uber to where he was. And do you want to know the best fucking part? I got there around like three in the morning. All we did was snuggle and talk until seven in the morning. Nothing happened. Like nothing happened. All we did was talk for hours. And then when he dropped me off at my Airbnb, he kissed me on the cheek. And he was tall and cute and so polite and gentleman. I'm never drinking again. Like, ever again. I'm so serious. I don't know how I got back to the Airbnb last night. I'm being told that I had three people in a chokehold. I'm also being told that I threatened Joshua Bassett last night. I said I was gonna choke and kill him. <laughs> I can't do this. So yeah, I'm never drinking again. Like, ever again. I can't do that.